And one of the questions, you know, we get is aspiring entrepreneurs, people wear clothing, uh, how to start a clothing company. If you just had, you know, a couple suggestions or a couple f initial steps to take uh, when someone said, how do you start a company, clothing company, what would you say? Well, I would say it's parallel to starting any business. Uh, it's going to take uh, information, knowledge, and uh, funding. So one of the things I ask people is if they have a business plan uh, of some sort so they know what to expect. Uh, a friend of mine uses a phrase, you don't want to slide into second base only to find out you're 10 feet short. So you need to know where you're going and a business plan would test these assumptions and it has to be something that is uh, rational and plausible. It could be exciting and, and a little out of reach and that's okay as long as it, it can start you on the road of the process. So somebody has to be aware that there's going to be taking time involved to do the product development process. There's going to be advertising and promotion and marketing money. Somebody's going to have to manage the, their customer relationships, whether it's on the internet or, or sales to retailers. You know, it's up to them, but it's going to take time, it's going to take money, and it's going to take knowledge and expertise. There's a total menu of, of items that need to be done in order to do garment manufacturing. The question is, who's going to do which of those items? So we can do all of them or some of them, and the ones we don't do, somebody's going to have to pick up the slack. Generally, we're set up as the manufacturing department for our clients, so we're not typically involved in the marketing. But we're certainly aware of what the end customer is going to want, whether it's packaging and adhering to federal trade uh, laws, as far as labeling and washing, you know, the garments, so for sure. consumer protection.